Let's go. My name is David Patwan, and uh, Calendar Brook Cabinetry is the name of my business that I gave because my first shop was up in Sutton on the Calendar Brook River where my parents lived. Uh, I've always liked working with wood. My mother did a lot of craft stuff with us when I was a kid, I guess, and when I went through high school, I had a really good shop teacher there that uh, was really good in the area and uh, he actually worked for me for 16 years after he retired from uh, teaching high school. Well, I had just a very small shop when I was up in Sutton, uh, and when I moved down here, I built this shop, which is quite a bit larger, a lot larger. My original shop was only 20 by 30, and this one is 60 by 72. And then, of course, I've put an addition on the back and on the front. And now I have another storage shed beside it here. So I used to work all by myself, and now I have, uh, depending on the amount of work we have, two to five employees. The lowest part in my business, of course, is when I first started. You know, I mean, that was I was just working. Nobody knew me, so I was trying to get my name out there. I was doing whatever I could. And, uh, you know, it's just it's just a word of mouth business. I didn't spend a lot of money on advertising or whatever, so it just takes time to grow. One of our specialties here is uh, making cabinets. Uh, kitchen cabinets is probably our our biggest business here. We do a lot of millwork, custom flooring, you know, hardwood flooring, wide pine flooring, things like that. So, but we pretty much do. Just about anything. If people need a uh, chair fix, we'll do that. Or if they need a, a kitchen, we'll do that. I usually go to all the job sites, do any measuring of cabinets, discussing things with people, what they want. So I always do that. Usually I do all the shop drawings for everything that has to be built. I assemble most of the cabinets that are built here. Uh, I usually have somebody else makes the doors, drawers, builds the facings, and usually somebody else does the uh, finishing, the sanding, and a lot of the cabinet hardware installation. So, so it takes a team to get everything done and out the door. Uh, I like to see things come about from, you know, we start, you know, I could take you downstairs and you could see that too. We start with just rough lumber, which is just, nothing and turn it into a finished piece you know that somebody's you know could last for hundreds of years actually uh, i was influenced by my mother a lot because i have five sisters and one brother and she pretty much followed us through school she always uh, did stuff with the school teaching art classes craft classes and even when she went, we moved on to high school, she seemed to be close by, keep an eye on us. And uh, she really got me started. And I grew up next to a sawmill, uh, which I always saw lumber being sawed and stacked. And I actually, in graded in high school, I used to go over there and, and work part-time uh, handling different woods. So, so I always had my eyes on wood. I do have relatives in the sawmill business, actually, but uh, none in the cabinetry end of it. My father was a, a, a machinist and a maintenance person. He, uh, he fixed broken down machines and whatnot. So, but he was always in the metal side of it. And, uh, and uh, it's just something that I, I picked up in high school, so seeing what was, uh, when I was in high school, there was a very good teacher, Bob Jackson, that was an excellent cabinet maker. And, uh, you know, the school, the high school, Linden Institute, always had uh, displays of pieces that the students had made throughout the year. And I always thought it was pretty impressive. And you didn't get to 
work with Bob Jackson until you went through uh, a year, what they called Prevo shop, which was all hand tools. And then you went into the shop class, which was for juniors and seniors, which you would use uh, uh, electric stuff. So, so that's uh, where I proceeded to work from. Why have I chosen to do this with my life? It's uh, just felt natural, I guess. Uh, it just, it's just, you know, when I was in school, I wasn't uh, one that wanted to continue going to school any longer than I had to, and so I did what I had to through high school and figured I had done what I wanted to do and continued with that. And uh, it's just. Uh, snowballed from there. My style of work is, uh, I would think, very traditional. Uh, we do a lot of stuff. I, I do not like doing modern stuff, actually. So uh, a lot of the modern stuff, in my opinion, is, is throwaway stuff. So <laughs> we do traditional stuff. We use a lot of uh, mortise and tenon uh, joinery, uh, which is the same thing they used several hundred years ago. The furniture is definitely going to last longer. It's all face frame construction, so, I mean, there are certain things we don't do as far as dovetail joinery and things like that, but uh, we do do Morse and Tenon and a lot of, you know, quality stuff, so, and it's a traditional look.